Hello, I'm Dr. Alexis Reed, naturopathic doctor. Today I want to talk about something that affects a lot of people, 18 million per year to be specific, and that's anxiety. So what is anxiety? Anxiety is a disorder in which people will experience a host of symptoms, anything from racing heart rate, palpitations, or feeling your heart, being aware of your heartbeat, feeling that flutter, nausea, shortness of breath, headache, fight or flight response, the need to run away quickly, to name a few. So anxiety can be classified in a few different ways. Uh, there's the generalized anxiety disorder, where a person feels anxiety over a host of different things and maybe isn't quite sure why. Uh, obsessive compulsive disorder, which is where someone, for instance, would have to obsessively check that the stove is off before they leave or that the door is locked. And these rituals and routines can become something that causes them anxiety. Um, there is situational anxiety, so anxiety associated with a test or work or something like that. What I'm talking about in this video is not necessarily you have a test tomorrow and you're anxious about that, and then when the test is over, you'll be fine. It's more of an anxiety that hangs on, even when there isn't necessarily something to be anxious about. Social anxiety is another thing that a lot of people experience. They will have symptoms if they know they have to be in a group or talking to new people or in a crowded mall, something like that. So what are the causes of anxiety? There are many different causes. Uh, just to name a few, it could be due to being under extreme stress, nutrient deficiencies, hormonal imbalances, and blood sugar, regu blood, blood sugar irregulation. What I mean with blood sugar irregulation is when someone is not eating frequently, their blood sugar tends to fluctuate, and that fluctuation physiologically is a stress on the body, which can then cause that person to respond with an anxious response. I'd also like to say that just because something's natural does not mean it's safe, so any of the uh, treatment options that I mentioned here should be discussed with your healthcare provider. So there's many diet and lifestyle things that can be done to help with anxiety. One of the things that I've found works quite well is exercise. So that helps with any pent up energy, helps to give your mind a break from anxious thoughts. And blood sugar regulation is a big one. So eating frequently and eating meals that contain protein and fat to keep that blood sugar stable. Um, having time for self care, which is something that a lot of people don't have time or make a priority anymore. So time just to sit and be quiet and rest. Time to take uh, deep belly breaths, which have been shown to reduce cortisol, the stress hormone. One of the best nutrients for anxiety is magnesium. And one way that you can utilize magne magnesium for anxiety is by taking an Epsom salt bath. So you'd put one to two cups of Epsom salts in your bath and soak for around 20 minutes. And that can help with any muscle tension associated with anxiety. Magnesium also helps dilate the blood vessels, so it can help with racing heart rate, high blood pressure, these sorts of things. There are plenty of herbs that are helpful. Uh, they're called nervines, and some of the more common ones that are used are passionflower, scutellaria, valerian. These are often can be found in combinations in sleepy time teas or in calming teas that you can find at the health food store or the grocery store. Uh, once again, you should, if you're taking any medications, you should check with your healthcare provider before trying any herbal medicines. And I hope you found this helpful, and if you have any comments, feel free to leave them below. Thank you.